just one little last part of chapter five left. I tried to get it all in on the last one. That's why I was talking a little fast there in the end, but I just couldn't do it. And the last uh, accessory structure of the integument are nails not to be um, let out or forgotten from our discussion. And their big job is to protect your finger and toes. All you have to do is lose a nail and realize how much they're protecting and how that, how delicate that tissue is underneath the, the nail. They also, as I, in, in, as I um, hinted at or talked about a little bit, they help you with your dexterity. Um, if you happen to have uh, very, very, um, if you've lost a nail or you've lost a portion of the nail and you're trying to pick up, uh, say, pins or trying to th pick up very small things, those nails just really help you with that particular activity between the ac the action of the fingers themselves, the phalanges, uh, the, fin the nails uh, help you with that, um, with that fine motor skill. Uh, made of dead cells that are absolutely packed with keratin. That's why they have that hard surface. Uh, the, the nails are similar to all the other tissue that we talked about that's packed with keratin. You have a live portion and that is deep within the epidermal fold and the live portion is constantly replicating and pushing the cells up and out. Um, into the nail bed. So you have the body of the nail, you have the free edge, uh, you have the lateral fold, and you have the um, proximal nail fold. Um, and uh, the proximal nail fold is going to cover uh, the root, the nail root. Uh, you can see you have three pictures here. You have a, uh, what's it, a, kind of an artist picture drawing of a nail, and then you have a cross section uh, and the tissue cut away. That's the portion at the bottom. And you see the um, epiconium, that is the uh, portion that is coming out of the, the, the proximal root, the proximal nail fold. And um, that you can see where that nail root is embedded deep into the tissue of the uh, of the phalange, and um, lunula is the um, the portion that looks like a moon. That's where it kind of gets its name. That um, half moon uh, type area. Then nail body. The um, Lunula is the pale crescent at the base uh, and the sides uh, basically surround the the grooves or the the nail folds actually hold that nail in place because it is different tissue than the epidermis but hold the nail in place and also protect the nail um, from uh, because you do have although it is dead tissue with keratin you have underneath it very very uh, sensitive tissue so you have um, those portions of the nail and um, in terms of structure, beneath the distal free edge of the nail, the hypo, uh, hypo, uh, hypononium, I've never heard of that term, hyponychium, boy, that's a mouthful. The epiconium, um, cuticle uh, is something that you do here at the tip. But the free nail, uh, the free nail edge, uh, everybody gets its own special name. Uh, I think the important thing here is the fact that it's very similar to what we've already talked about in its structure and its growth pattern, uh, and the the uh, function protection with regard to the nail. Uh, sorry, I couldn't get this on the last one, uh, but that's the end of chapter five. Um, accessory structure. So you have the cutaneous membrane itself epidermis, dermis. You have the parts of the epidermis, so the layers, what their functions are, what's happening in each layer. You have the dermis itself and uh, what structures are found in the dermis, uh, that function of each of those structures like the sweat glands, the, uh, the, um, uh, the 
Merkel, the, the tactile corpuscles, um, free nerve endings, the, the blood flow, etc. in terms of the dermis. You have a little bit about the hypodermis to uh, learn something about, and then you have the accessory structures of the integument. You have hair, you have sweat glands, you have oil glands, and um, nail. Uh, information and how they how it grows and what they're wh how each of those um, develop and what their function is all right so I'll see you uh, in the next chapter which we move on to the skeletal system